Hey y'all, it's Gabriel here and this is Minoxal week 36. I'm sorry if I haven't made a video last week, but I've been crazy busy with work, like crazy, crazy busy. And there's not really much to talk about. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I trimmed down my beard significantly and it has grown back quite a bit. And I'm really liking it uh, as usual. My chin strap grows faster than this section as well as my mustache here. I'm not sure why that is but I assume it's because it hasn't matured as quickly as everything else because when I first started Minoxidil this was already pretty much filled in while my mustache and the area over here was pretty much more or less non-existent and now it exists and it's obviously taking longer to mature whether or not it's genetics or it's just the facial hair doesn't respond very well to minoxone, so it's like slow growth, but with biotin in the mix, because I also take biotin as well with minoxidil, um, there has been uh, quite a difference. There's a lot of peach fuzz here. You can't really see it yet, but you can see it's starting to crawl up here, so maybe all this might be filled in. And interesting note, like my boyfriend and I were like coming home from work, and he noticed that like I have shiny copper beard, copper colored, hairs it's like shiny bronze color like you know like the color of a, like a penny uh mixed it with dark brown you can you uh in this angle and on this video you can see it's just dark brown but if you look closer i took a, a picture on instagram if you want to see it it's in at neutral wolf that's my instagram handle and you can see that there's like shiny little copper hairs like that make up my beard but it's not very noticeable on camera unless like you zoom in and you actually take a very detailed picture where you can see a couple of shiny hairs that kind of look like ginger but it's like copper and i guess i should call myself copper beard instead of copper sand i don't know it's like me uh and my boyfriend are trying to be cute aside from that he also noticed that like my beard and the back of my uh, hair like the back of my neck because there's hair growing here I haven't had a haircut in like three months there's only like barely any space between my beard and my neck and it's almost like connecting there's like almost like ba basically barely less than two centimeters of space in between this like from here but there's like hair uh, growing over here so I don't know if that's a side effect of minoxidil aside from the regular heart rate and dry skin if you're using the liquid version. Another case of side effects that I notice is that I'm getting hair in other places even though I don't directly apply minoxyl there. Like I don't apply it here, I don't apply it on my hand, I don't apply it on my chest at all, but it's growing there, it's getting longer, but I don't know if that's like a mix of minoxyl and biotin, but I'm willing to bet it's biotin because it makes uh, already existing hair grow faster, minoxyl just makes the hair appear, and the mixture of the two can cause these kinds of results, and I'm very well turning into a human werewolf, which by the sound of it, I don't mind too much because I'm a furry, and the only reason I like the, all this facial hair because it gets me in touch with my furry side as well as my fursonas. If you've seen my Instagram, I do have fursonas, and if I could afford one, I would get a fursuit, and it would be so awesome because I love wolves. Like, yay! In any case, that's all I really want to talk about. Like I said, not much to talk about these days. Minoxyl seems to be slowing down. Um, I don't see any much change. Maybe when I make a timeline in uh, three months when I hit the one year mark, I might see a big difference. But day by day, as, as I see myself on the mirror all the time, um, not much change is happening, but maybe I'm looking a little too hard, possibly. But I know there's change. I think it's the same case with when I was starting off taking testosterone. As I see myself every day, you don't see much of a change. But then I put my old picture next to mine, and before you know it, it's like, whoa, like, when did that happen? So I think that's the th probably going to be the same thing with the Minoxo, but we will show. We shall see. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all. If you have any questions, drop in the comments below and I will get back to you real soon. I have a crazy hectic schedule, but I will make time to answer any questions that you might have about Minoxyl, Biotin, or whatever you want to ask me about and I will answer. Uh, if you haven't given a, a like, click like on this video. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe. And I will see you all real soon. I hope you have a good weekend.